both our readings on this Saturday of the second week of Advent mention the prophet Elijah and his return as a supposed precursor to the coming of the Messiah, the coming of the day of the Lord. Our gospel reading, which we hear Jesus respond to this, is in the context of the transfiguration. As they come down from the mountaintop, the disciples ask Jesus whether it is Elijah that has to come first. And Jesus reminds them that Elijah has already come, not so much in the person of Elijah himself, but as we have heard in recent days, it's a direct reference to John the Baptist, the precursor who we have already encountered and who has led the way, proclaiming the coming of the Messiah and who paid the ultimate price for it. Jesus is identifying himself as the one who was foretold, at least to his disciples, and preparing them for the, rea the reality that other people might not believe that the Messiah has come, that God's promise has been fulfilled. We can be tempted in this day and age as well to want to prepare ourselves for something that will ultimately not be believed. We, however, are called to be, like John the Baptist, like Elijah, the ones who are the precursors of the coming of the day of the Lord. We are called to lay the foundations over and over and over again. That's the task that has been handed on to us by Jesus uh, in the Great Commission. We are called to go out and proclaim the good news, to make disciples, to baptize and to teach. We are called not to be the Messiah, but the ones who prepare the way for the coming of the, the fulfillment of the promise made by God in the person of Jesus Christ and which will reach its ultimate fulfillment when the second coming arrives and the kingdom is brought to fruition. Until then, we have a very clear task. So let's be about that. Let's be about making sure that we fulfill our responsibilities as God has asked us to and leave the rest up to God. And so let us pray. May the splendor of your glory dawn in our hearts, we pray, almighty God, that all shadows of the night may be scattered and may be shown to be children of light by the advent of your only begotten Son. Amen.